Hey, this is Samara, signing on with Samara of Bioshock Infinite, and I just stumbled upon this sign, and boy, you know, people are still this stupidly paranoid for no reason. Anyways, so, <clears throat> uh, let's see, um, last time we ran around, got in bad with Elizabeth, so that took a second to fix, um, we ended up in the middle of Fink's, uh, factories, oh hi! Take your time, I'm fine down here. Alright, good. I didn't ask. Oh, there's stuff up here. Um, anyways, we're in the middle of Fink's stuff, but he seems to want a conversation. So... Ooh, that's cool. Okay. And so, yeah, Fink wants a conversation. Hey, I thought you said you were good down there. And so we gotta meet up with Fink and just see what's going on. So, sorry, getting on track here. So let's go to the gunsmith shop. We also gotta look for a gunsmith. Alright, I'm going here. It's been a couple of hours. Gonna not record the rest of the day, and then I, you know, should have been doing more writing and editing for a different project. But, um, using this as an excuse to do vocal warm ups for other recording. That's my excuse. I didn't just want to keep playing Infinite. Okay, so. <sighs> Make it our way. It's got my Buddha. The founder of Buddhism spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped at ain't him. Okay. So. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Hi. <laughs> Miss Lynn, okay. Me. Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lynn. Mr. Chen Lin? Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Oh, that was quick. Club. Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find you already it. know where it is. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? That's why we're here. <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Okay, we tried going there before, and we gotta find another code book there. But, um... Uh, sorry? We gotta find another code book there, but we couldn't go in, because we had to wait for the show to start. Well, they captured somebody, so that must be the show. There we go. Oop. Okay, we're good. I'm fine. Hey, uh, angry stompers when extremely low health deal two times damage. Oh, that's pretty good. What do we got for comparison? Right, shield delay. Thank you. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. The more they look, the deeper I go. 
She'll only call us Booker when she kills us. Okay. I'm listening, just hang on. Being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. All right. My labor unrest is coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Go ahead. Okay. All I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our okay. first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. That's so much fun to using groups. Alright. That was fun. This young goal getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. This one I'm gonna play right there. Are we on nest? I have souls. Here you go. Got it. in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do it depends you know what you're offering. How many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> you're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. All right. Fucker, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Okay, hold that thought real quick. Okay, door opened here. 
Yeah, bouncing. Bathroom. Trying to look for like a cypher thing. Mm, okay. The first lady. Okay, moving on. I'm sure those are very interesting. I was just trying to move, keep a pace going. I could buy both of those. No, be short, but still. More money. It's every penny's appreciated. Okay, so. I'm keeping an eye out open for maybe like the cipher we need. Maybe that's somewhere else. Okay, let's keep going. I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air. I began to doubt your mental integrity, but not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. All right, keep a low profile. Fox and Arcus, okay. Carbines. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. All right. Can you unlock this? No problem. All right. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. All right. At least he admits he's a, you know, a garbage person. Anyways, I'm sure we'll get into his life as we go. Yes. Okay, cool. Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn kook. You know Jesus you Christ. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Mm. Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Okay, we better go help him. If he's still even alive. Oh, is that? He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Hey, bud. You okay? All right. I'll leave you to it. Good seeing you, champ. Have a good day. Yeah, I didn't think that would end well for him. Can you help me out with this lock. I can do that. Seems important because it's expensive. I got beans on him. Oh my god, what a great haul. Time to be stunned. Victim is vulnerable for three seconds. Okay, cool. I know I should mix and match those a little bit more, but those are fun. Okay, got a lot here. Hmm. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. 
All done. Listen to us. You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions Relax. walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. Alright. What if I was bigger than a lion? <laughs> What would be a bigger than a lion? Lion's kind of like... It's a big cat. Something tells me that's our guy. Alright. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. Well, no. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did I see heads and I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What from do you see here from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia. But... It's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. Hmm. Whoop, 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 If we whoop. go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. We don't have a choice. Okay. okay. Let's rock. Okay, so we're going to an alternate reality. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Okay. So, we're just going into an alternate reality. I didn't know... I knew she had, like, you know, time-bending powers. I didn't know we'd actually be going through a reality. Okay. Prisons are a lot more full. Why does she look familiar? And Slade's still here. Hey man, you okay? Yeah, the princes have a lot more people in them. Yeah, did they hold on? I killed them. They were dead. They're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. Okay. Certainly a trip. 
That was not necessary. It's kind of hoping there'd be like new vigors because it was new Columbia. What the heck? Oh. Where the hell? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> we go back to the same warehouse to look at that um, cipher. Is it still going to be there or is it going to be totally different now? Okay, that slap fight was really stupid. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if that would do anything. Yeah, I just got in a slap fight with them and I thought I would win. Translate this real quick. Alright, give me a second. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? The broken this one. Looks like the one. Set it to midnight. Oh, this one. <laughs> hey yo! Okay, let's increase should we increase our health or shields? Let's increase our health. Pick a volley gun. Oh. I came to Columbia because I believed in God and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man. And there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Right, gunsmith shops this way. Okay, get into area. Uh, this seems pretty similar. Maybe did. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe 
He's upstairs now. Booker, look. The uh. shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Did... Did he join up with them? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? Well, I've been dead a couple of times. Is there anything we can do? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up. Impound in shanty town. Okay. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Okay, Probably so not, but we're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to shanty town. Okay. So is this like alternate universe where maybe Chen married somebody else and you know more um you know, kind of sympathize more with Comstock, maybe? Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be a style. He's terrible. I'm not so sure he's going to do it. Well, it's the best we got. I just buy these damn things? Okay, fine. That's mini clusters for greater area effect range and damage. Okay. Just buy them and get them out of the way so they stop bothering me. Oh, yeah. such a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hate it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. I, I did notice that, but I go like, ah, oh, maybe they'll explain it. Then, you know, we got lost in the shuffle with everything else that's going on in this there damn game. There we go. Explosions are even better now. Damn. So it's here. Catch Booker. Much obliged. Okay. Ooh. 
And how do we get in there? Hmm. You thinking? Okay, some kind of new vigor. How many? Imagine we have a lot of vigor slots. Can we not get it yet? Okay, I'm sure we'll get it later. Some kind of ram thing. Alright. Oh, sorry. Mm. Okay. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. It's pretty cool, this actually. Whole acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I am not going back to that tower, no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. All right. Oh, jeez. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything. There's people are like this because of Fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Back it up, Scal. Thief and bat! You think I give a donk? I'm not gonna kill ya. Kid was doing here. Oh, hey! We stumbled upon a thing. Okay, that's a sweet little moment. You know, I was just trying to jam out and you ruined it with your voice, so thanks for taking away my fun. <laughs> Anyways. When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. The fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Colombia. Thank you. She's gonna keep stealing and pissing people off. Oh, 
I'm sure it doesn't matter if I fight these thugs, I'm just- I'd still still feel bad. Wait, no. Everyone chill out, there's food! Okay. Maybe if I didn't start a fight and you, like, created a tear for those food stocks, would that maybe have done something? Yid. Oh, coat of arms. What was that? Not even sure what it was. No, cut of harms. Either me or I execute. Okay. Explode proper. I thought so, but I thought I'd try it. There we go. Oh, right. Up. Should have done this the other way. Perfect timing. Okay, a little messy, but we're okay. I really want that crank gun, but also I got a couple more RPG rounds. Elizabeth. Sure thing. All right. Good job. Oh, leave area. Okay. The Bullhouse Impound. Halt. Oh, final checkpoint officers must move to search. Whatever. We won't do any of those things. Because we think we're better than everyone.
pick up repeater? Alright, let's try it out. Just a different kind of machine gun. Fitzroy Spottered. That's pretty cool. Okay, moving on. Actually, that sounds pretty accurate to a police station. Anyways. There's the job, and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox, and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. Okay. Oh, hand cannon. No. Sorry, I don't got much to say, we're just trying to survive here. Oh. Put my head in a thing, okay. How do you- I didn't even fire at him, okay. Did, wait, hold on. I don't think I checked a room. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Looks easy enough. All right, then do it. Jeez, okay, Christ. Done. Thank you. Let's increase our shields. It increases damage. Have firing reduces damage. Okay, fair enough. Perfect. RPGs are just so useful. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, protect our race. That seems to be the motto of a lot of American police. Uh, uh, police. Er. Uh. Lost it. Lost the right word. Police precincts. They argued some there we go. Night. Moving on. They I flubbed that. A Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst. I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery made with what they call... Now we just have to get them back to the box. Then we get our airship. Alright. There. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the box populace? gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. <laughs> don't sound so sure about that sure. You don't really care, you just want to get out of here. Blech. 
Uh, the founders will bleed. Well, we sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. We didn't think this all the way through. <laughs> well, could we open a rift and push it all through? I don't know. aren't in there then, then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop Booker if we go into this Terra I don't think there's any turning back Are you sure you want to go right open the tear do it we got nowhere else to try Sounds like there's chaos going on upstairs, so let's get going. There's something tells me, okay. You ever see a force at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bennies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Alright. Leave area? The Bullyard. If I have an idea where I think this is going, let's just see. Okay. It's kind of like a first rifle. singing and all this. Kinda looks like Handsome Jack from Borderlands 2. Come back to me. 
We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. This guy? This is getting weird. Yeah, you heard the guy say something about his family, and, you know, now it's trying to paint the, you know, the resistance force as just as bad as the police hyper-religious racist force. So, you know, two sides in this is actually doing anybody any favors and isn't necessarily... Okay, yeah. So they're trying to two sides this. Oh, hey. Find the box to unlock. Ah, damn it. I bet that's all the way back at the station. This was the, you know, the evidence key or evidence locker thing. We're not heading back, but damn. Okay. woman in Colombia to have been your wife. They said your soul was choked by the fumes in that metal box, but this I do not believe. And we shall meet again on that eternal shore. Both of us whole and smiling. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna. I think that was a good time to stop. We'll wrap up here for right now, and next time we continue, we will carry on. We will see where this revolution is taking us, and we will, you know, see what happens. We're going too many tears deep. We gotta do something and get back. So, okay, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off. <laughs>